Okay, so we left last time having just got the inlays put in. They've gone really, really well. Very happy with them. They look lovely. I've just opened these fret slots up again because when we radius the board and we've been working on it, you lose some of the depth on there. So I've set the saw up kind of to the depth of the tang on the fret and saw them back into there just to open them out and get them to the right depth again. So for this part of the fretboard, we're pretty much done. So next up, we need to get the binding on. And as we said previously, we're going to be using the two offcuts of the Wenge that we initially cut off the board. We're gonna glue them back on and then cut them down to the appropriate size, which will leave probably about two millimeter thick binding on both sides of this. And what I'm hoping is that we can do this in such a way that it won't be apparent that it's been cut off. I don't know how viable that is, but I think we can get pretty close. It should be a really good match in terms of color, and I'm hoping we can get the figure to sort of match up as well. But to make this look right, we actually need to plane both of the sides that are gonna go up against the fretboard dead flat and square because they've just come off the bandsaw, so they're a little bit rough. Potentially, I could get them into my vise, but they're very, very small, and that might be a tricky operation. And also, my vise isn't this long, and on thin stuff, it might kind of flex while I'm planing it and I'm not gonna get a straight edge. So realistically, what I need to do this properly is some kind of shooting board. Fortunately, I don't have one. So we're gonna to have to make it. And I'm just gonna make it out of some bog standard three quarter inch plywood. And what I need is a base that I can slide my plane on. I need an element that's raised up from the base that I'll put my work piece on and then I need a fence at the end at 90 degrees to it. And I'll probably put another piece of wood on the back just so I can clamp it into my vise. So I think if I make the base element of this about six inches, and then this part will be the raised element, which will leave me about two inches to run the plane on. So I'll just rip this down on the bandsaw and we can get it fastened together. Okay, so there's our shooting board made. It's probably a little bit longer than most people's shooting boards, but it's been made this way for the specific purpose of kind of trimming up stuff on fretboards. So it, it does need to be this kind of length. If you're not familiar with the shooting board, the basic concept is it's for just trimming stuff up. So this fence is at a perfect 90 degrees. So anything that I plane along here will be 90 degrees to there. And also if the plane is set up properly, this face will be 90 degrees that way. And it's just a case of 
just running the plane along and making sure that you're pressing down and keeping it flat against the base. And if I was to measure that, I'd be very, very confident that that would be a perfect 90 degrees. It's also really good for doing end grain because you've got the fence there, this isn't going to split out. So you can very gently square up stock as well. Very, very useful bit of kit to have. A little bit of practice and you can make it work very, very well for yourself. This one is a little bit grabby at the moment, so I'm just going to rub some paste wax along this running surface. Hopefully that will help it be a little bit smoother. And that is absolutely spot on. However, if we just try and do that with these long bits, they are going to flex. We're not going to be able to keep them stable and steady. So we're going to have to, I think, I'm not going to fasten these down with super glue and masking tape, but I am going to fasten this bit of wood in. So I'm going to position that so that the stock is in roughly where I want it to be. I'll mark a line and I'll stick it in position. And with that block in position, we can now start to clean it up. And it's just a case of running that down until we get a nice good shaving. I think that is somewhere close. It really didn't take much at all. It took far longer to build this than it did to use it. And that is looking really nice. Add a little bit of pressure and that pushes into place beautifully. And the grain is quite a good match as well. I think when it's all cleaned up, you're not really gonna be able to tell that it's been cut off and glued back on. So I'll very quickly clean this one up as well and we can get some glue on the job. Okay, so everything's prepped up now. I've got this fastened down, which will hopefully make things a little bit easier. And we're just going to get these two bits glued into position. And I'm hoping that these clamps will do it. It's all a bit thin. But I think we should be all right. That will do it just nicely. These are thin enough that they'll actually kind of bend and conform to the shape. So we should get a nice good glow up. Well, I tried to stick both of those on in one go and it just wasn't having it at all. The one on this side was just tipping up all the time. So I've taken that off, I've glued this one on. We'll let that dry for an hour, take all the clamps off and then try and get the other one glued on. Now, while I'm waiting for this to dry, it has occurred to me that I probably am going to need something else to get this job completed. And that is something to 
get into these very little corners of the fret slot against this binding and just clean out any glue. Now you can buy a specialist tool for this. I believe Stumac do one. However, I haven't got a couple of weeks to wait for it to turn up for the States. So again, I've got some old feeler gauges and I'm going to see if I can find one that's a good-ish fit for the fret slot. That's quite good, but I've already made that into a little saw. So I'll leave that one, but that's also a good fit. So I'm going to take this to the small vise and I'm going to get my Dremel on it and I'm going to cut this end where that handy little hole is and clean some of this away and turn that into a little sharpened hook that I'll be able to get right into that corner and just pull out any glue residue. Okay, so I've cracked on off camera with this. I've glued the other side on and that has gone on very nicely. I think we've got a really good join there. So happy with that. So next up, we need to mark exactly how thick we need this down the length of the neck, get it to the bandsaw and get it trimmed off. With that done we can get it back onto the shooting board and we just need to get this plane down to the line that seems to have got that side down nice and straight so flip it over hope I'm going with the grain which I seem to be is really really good
and that is starting to come together quite nicely quite happy with that if I measure this one is just a little bit thicker so I'm just going to take a, another couple of passes on this side So that's all smoothed out now it's nice and straight but it is still a little bit proud so both of these bits I've glued on are sticking up from the top so I need to get those flushed down so to do that I need to get rid of this jig and get it jigged up again on the long piece of wood that's in the vise and then I'm just going to take my little Stanley 101 again and just work my way down kind of try and follow the radius on the fretboard and get this all down to its proper thickness. Okay, and there is the fretboard almost done. It's very nearly finished. I'm gonna go down, carry on cleaning out these fret slots with my new little tool. It's actually working really well. You can get right into that corner and just drag out any glue and sawdust. With that done, there's a few more jobs need doing. It needs cutting at the nut slot. It needs cutting to length at the heel and we need to put the little recess in for the adjuster wheel. And we also need our dots along the top edge. But I'm gonna leave that for the next episode. I think we've done quite enough this time. As always, don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this, subscribe, etc. And I'll be back in a few days time when we can finish off this fretboard and start to think about getting back onto the body.